Welcome back to Evangelism for God, the channel that speaks about issues the church run away from and expose Satan and his devices and call out anybody that's misleading God's people. My name is Maurice Braxton, and I want to start off because it's been a while. I want to start off, guys. I got the notes. It's been a while since I had the notes, but the notes are back. And we're going to get started because this Friday here, uh, Alan Parr and Marcus Rogers, I believe, is supposed to be making, I don't know if they're doing a live stream video together, and they're going to talk about come together. And I, I don't know. I know uh, Marcus had took offense to a video that Alan Parr made about something, and they got Marcus starts talking about this speaking in tongues stuff. And if you want it, you can have it. And all of this stuff, debate, debate. And I don't know. They've already talked about this before. So I don't know if they're going to talk about it again. But, it, but you know, as I thought about that, you know, this is just a waste of time. It really is. Because I thought of, I, I went back to the story once again of Genesis chapter 13 with Moses and Lot. Moses had accumulated a lot of wealth and cattle. Lot had his tents and, and a whole lot of cattle, and a lot was going on. And the herdsmen started arguing. They, they, it started to be chaos a little bit. And um, Abraham told Lot, you know, we're relatives. We don't need to, you know, be in conflict. You know, we need to separate. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. If I go to if, go, if you go to the left, I go to the right. He, so he, he basically tried to just lay down, you know, he didn't want the confusion. And I have here in my notes my point number one. Some people have a lot of, just like Abraham had a whole lot of possessions, him and Lot in them. Some people have a whole lot of pride. Some people have a whole lot of self-righteousness. Some people have a whole lot of greed, and the land can't support them. That's what I have that on here. And sometimes, sometimes you have to move on. You have to just move on. There's some people you can talk to your faces blue and whatever. You can show them the truth, show them that Whatever, you know, uh, uh, you tell a young person, you know, stay away from drugs. Do this. You know, don't mess your credit up. Don't do all of that. But then they always think that they can outsmart, you know, that they're smarter than you. You know, when you're younger, you think you know everything. And there's some people that's within the church realm, they think they know everything. And there's some people that you're just not going to be, they're stuck. They're, they're going to they're gonna sit there, and they're going to cause confusion somewhat. And I have on here, some people will pitch their tents in the wrong place of life. You see, because when they did the separation, Abraham and Lot, Lot looked over the plain and decided to pitch his tent near Sodom is where he, what he did. And I have in here, some people is going to pitch their tents in the wrong place of life. And I have here on my notes, focusing on things of the least value of the kingdom of God. Some people are doing that. Many people are doing that nowadays. I mean, tongues, if, if they talk about tongues, I mean, once again, this how is that helping somebody that's struggling with maybe depression because their life is in turmoil somewhat. And you, all you got is the tongues talk. That's all you got. That's all you focus on. That's all, you know, it, it makes you, that's not going to help that person. You're not going to help that person is wondering if the way that they've been living, that they're questioning if they're destined for hell because they're not sure if they've given their life to the Lord or sure if they're saved or not. And back to tongue talk pointless, you know, little issues that goes on within the body of Christ that are, you know, of least of the value. You know, there's a lot of other things going on within the spiritual realm. And I don't think that tongue talk should be at the top of it. Tongue talk should be right at the bottom, bottom of that, 
because there's so much more we need to be doing. Tongue talk is not going to lead a person to Christ and help somebody be delivered from a demonic spirit. That's not going to do anything. So having discussions with people sometimes, unfortunately, you just got to move on. I've noticed that there's some people that are set in their ways. Some people. I There's a study, and I mentioned it early on when I started this channel, but it was talking about how much more difficult it is for someone to become saved the older that they get. And there's a ripe age of a person give, being saved based upon the studies over the years. And I, and I can't remember the actual age, but I know it's before 16. That's the highest rate, I believe, of a person being saved. And then from there, it starts to decline somewhat. But I remember the analogy I heard of about it, it like looking, uh, walking into a dark forest. And the further you go, the more you become lost. And that's how it is. The older you get, the more you become more embedded with the ways you think, more embedded with the ways that you, your thought process and your actions. So it's going to be much more difficult for you to break free. And unfortunately, some people are hard-headed and they don't want to, they're, they're not going to break free. And you're just, it's like talking to a wall and you got to move on. Let them pitch their tent wherever they're going to pitch it at. Because if it ain't pitch, pitched near the Holy Spirit and getting guidance from the Holy Spirit and direction in their life and having the Lord lead your life, then you're going to find yourself out there just like Lot did and find himself, as it said in Peter, where his soul was vexed, V-E-X-E-D. His soul was vexed because he got himself involved in Sodom and saw the sins of these wicked people and it tore him up and was eating him up inside. And you go right ahead and it will eat you up. Sin will eat you up. Stubbornness will eat you up. Pride will eat you up and the greed will eat you up as well. All a part of Satan's plan. As I always say on this channel, we call it out. Any issues the church is running or uh, any issues that the church is sweeping under the rug, anything that Satan is trying to put his little hand on and try to deceive people. We call it out on this channel and we'll continue to do that. If you're new, consider subscribing, coming along and hit like and turn on your notifications because we're going to continue to give God the glory and we're going to continue to punch Satan right in between them chops. My name is Maurice Braxton. Evangelism for God is the channel. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.